1910 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. Graded in mint state 67 read by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a pristine example of this rare variety with vibrant olive gold coloration across each side. The fields are blanketed in a dense, matte-like luster, complementing the more satiny texture of the devices. Incredibly sharp throughout and spared from notable blemishes of any sort. A highly sought-after variety, the 1910 SFS 502 is an underrated variety that sits in the shadow of more famous varieties like the 1958 and 1969 S. However, advanced Lincoln collectors recognize its true rarity and it is often the jewel in the most specialized collections. It is listed among the top 100 repunched mint mark varieties by both Konica and Wexler. It was sold for $19,200. 1961 D. Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 FBL by PCGS. FBL is a designation standing for full bell lines. In the context of Franklin half dollars, full bell lines refers to the level of detail visible on the reverse side of the coin where the Liberty Bell is depicted. The Franklin half dollar, minted from 1948 to 1963, features a design by John R. Sinek, and the Liberty Bell is a prominent element on the reverse. Full bell lines means that the horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell should be well-defined and fully struck, without any weakness or breaks. Collectors often use this term to describe the quality of the bell's depiction on the coin. This toned specimen ended up selling for $1,500. 1934 Washington Quarter with Medium Motto. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. According to Gordon Rubel, the letters in the motto in God we trust on the Medium Motto Quarter are sharply defined. To distinguish this variety from the heavy motto variety, just look at the W in We. The center peak is well below the outer diagonals of that letter on the Medium Motto. On the much scarcer heavy motto variety, the center peak of the W extends above the outer diagonals of the letter. This sharply struck, CAC proven gem was sold for $1,200 on December 17, 2023. 1930 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this is a sharply struck, pristine copper red example of the 1930 S. Lincoln Cent, showing no carbon spotting or bothersome abrasions. I appeal is excellent. This issue is rare in MS67 red, and no numerically finer red coins are known, as of December, 2023. It ended up selling for $2,640. 2002D Sacagawea dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as MS66 by PCGS. This lustrous error coin weighs 5.6 grams. An interesting wrong planchet error created when a standard planchet for quarter got fed between Sacagawea dollar dies, this one produced at the Denver Mint. Visually striking for both the quality and the obviously incorrect composition. Well centered on the slightly smaller quarter blank, with good detail and narrow rims complete around the circumference on each side. Fully brilliant with exceptional cartwheels of luster and only the most trivial handling. It was sold for $5,280. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red and Brown by PCGS. Moderate copper red luster still clings to the protected portions of this near gem 1914 D. Lincoln scent. The design elements exhibit bold definition, and the overall eye appeal is pleasing. Much of each side displays reddish brown toning. A few tiny specks are not bothersome. It was sold for $4,320. 1936 Washington Quarter. Graded as PR67 Plus by NGC. Although the Washington Quarter debuted in 1932, the new design was not struck in proof format until 1936 when denominational proof sets were reintroduced, following the failed matte proof experiment of 20 years before. This high-end superb gem is an excellent registry candidate. Hints of champagne toning grace the glimmering fields and sharp devices. Each side is beautifully unmarked. It was sold for $3,600. 1962 Proof Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1962 Proof Franklin Half Dollar is one of the more common issues in the series, as it has the largest mintage for Proof Franklin Half Dollar series. Examples up to about PR68 without Cameo or Deep Cameo designation appear to be fairly common. In Cameo condition, examples up to about 67 Cameo seem to be somewhat common and anything higher is much scarcer. In Deep Cameo it begins to be scarce in about 66 Deep Cameo. Examples in PR67-68 Deep Cameo are much tougher. In PR69 Deep Cameo they are really tough to find and probably less than a few dozen exist with few or none existing in better condition. This PR68 gem fetched a sum of $1,920. 1926 D. Lincoln Cent. 
graded in Mint State 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, satiny, bright copper surfaces exhibit an uncommonly bold strike in a survivor of this well-known strike rarity among 1920s Lincoln scents. Solid gem quality throughout, and worthy of inclusion in another advanced collection of this popular and widely collected series. The 1926D scent is relatively common overall but scarce in higher mint state grades. Strike and surface quality are the two compromising factors that make this issue so conditionally rare, and less than 200 coins are thought to survive in gem condition and above from an original mintage of just over 28 million pieces. This specimen was bargained for $4,800. 1945 Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, remarkably, the Philadelphia issue of this year is scarcer in high grade than either of the branch mint dates. This plus designated superb gem is among the finest at PCGS, an important acquisition for the competitive registry set collector. The surfaces are vibrantly lustrous, with lilac and olive hues emerging from the coppery red patina. The strike is sharp and just a single, tiny carbon speck is detected, in the field behind Lincoln's shoulder. It ended up selling for $20,400. 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. Rare Ultra Cameo Example. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. The Mint resumed proof set offerings in 1950 and collector demand really took off in 1952, when a mintage of 81,980 proof Washington quarters was achieved. This impeccably preserved superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and the deeply mirrored fields contrast profoundly with the richly frosted devices. Sold on December 15, 2023 for $3,600. 1963 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 full bands by PCGS. Peripheral toning in sandy orange, olive russet and medium copper iridescence frames more or less brilliant centers for this original and conditionally rare 63D Roosevelt. According to PCGS, the 1963D Roosevelt dime is very common without full bands up to about MS66 grade. In MS67 without full bands it becomes scarce. In MS68 there are very few examples known. With the full bands designation it is very underestimated, as there are very few examples with full bands designations in any grade. And in MS67 full bands it is very scarce. Anything grading higher with full bands is considered rare. This one was sold for $3,795. 1970s Lincoln sent with large date and double die obverse. Graded in mint state 64 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, at one point this variety was thought to be just as rare as the 1969 S double die, although today's certified population figures suggest it is marginally more plentiful, albeit still scarce in any grade. Strong doubling is most prominent throughout in God We Trust and Liberty, but is also visible on the date. It was sold for $1,860 on December 17, 2023. 1942 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. No Washington quarters struck prior to the mid-1990s are common in MS-68 PCGS holders. The 1942D is a good representation of the rarity of these coins, surviving to the extent of just six coins in this grade at PCGS, with another four at NGC. This example displays near flawless, satiny mint luster, and a bold strike. Original multicolor toning adorns each side. It ended up selling for $4,226.40.